need a man with powerful friends and a million dollars for my drug business. I must decline your offer because drugs is a dirty business. Frankie called in sick today. I'm going to be your driver. What are you doing here? Nobody's protecting my father. I'm here to protect him. Sass me. Hold him. They want a meeting with me. It'll have to be someplace public, like a bar or a restaurant. But someplace I'll feel safe. They're going to search me when I first arrive, which means I can't have a weapon on me. When we get there, if Clemenza can stash a gun, I'll shoot it both. millimeter bullet which matches that of ones fired from the gun. The firing pin matches on tests we've done on the gun and that found at the crime scene. And the striations on the bullet match those fired from the gun. The lands and grooves on the bullet match 
this one, which means it was fired from the same gun. And due to internal ballistics found on the body, we found that there was stifling but no fouling, which leads us to believe that it was intermediate range. So we found a partial latent print at the crime scene on the gun. There's eight points on the fingerprint that shows that it matches <coughs> with the APHIS database with Michael. Right here, we have <coughs> the core, and then over here we have an enclosure. This is a bifurcation, a dot, and then we also have a spur up here. We have a short ridge island, we have a bridge, and we also have the delta. We found a blood splatter behind both the big toes. There was a 40 degree impact of blood splatter from one millimeter, so we determined that it was a high impact, which means that it had to be from a gun. From the three drops, the point of convergence leads us to believe that our suspect was standing at the front of the table. After calculations, we determined the height of the blood origin to be about four feet three inches.